Back when I first started air traffic control, we used to do what we call whiteboard training most of the time. And we'd have a board, and we'd have little fake airplanes, and we'd have students, you know, standing around a big table and walking the airplanes around. About 1994 to 96, we began to, to believe that we could do something a little better with simulation. So we took uh, three 8 millimeter cameras and went up into the tower cab and stood on top of the console and videotaped aircraft as they moved around the field and then we created scenarios around the footage that we had and that's how we began to train individuals in the simulator. Today, technology has caught up with the needs of facilities. The tower simulator system, like the Adacel Mark V at Chicago's O'Hare, are used throughout the NAS to improve controller training in multiple ways. The high fidelity displays provide trainees with a realistic representation of operations in multiple environments. And what we really are trying to do here in the simulator is teach the basics. It gives people a chance to make mistakes and learn from those mistakes without working live air traffic at one of the world's busiest airports. They learn not to cross active runways and how our operation works and how you can stay out of another controller's way and how you can help each other just by seeing those things play out that we can't simulate in real life. For new hires, the process begins with four weeks in the classroom and six weeks in the simulator. This allows time for understanding and interaction in a safe environment before beginning live training in the tower cab. They start you off very slow to be, and then towards the end they work up to the busier problems to where they think you should be and everything from taxiing one airplane at a time to where you know you go upstairs and you, you're super busy. You don't stop for you know, a solid two minutes. You just taxi 25 airplanes. You wouldn't be able to do that without the simulator. Because I got there day one and I said, this is impossible. But they do it and it's highly successful with, by the way they teach downstairs. In addition to training future controllers, the TSS allows current controllers to remain proficient and maintain their certifications. Uh, there's huge advantages to it, especially um, when you're talking about weather type scenarios and the volume of which a place like O'Hare has. Dozens of simulators throughout the NAS provide the ability to prepare controllers for volume and weather considerations. This resource is invaluable to the operation. We certainly have the ability to cut the training of those that come in here. We believe that we've probably cut off about 20% of what we would believe would be initial qualification training. So we're saving the agency money by doing something that's very good and in a very safe environment. You, know, you're, you set a goal, you reach it, and it's rewarding for them and it's rewarding to help them get to that point as well. And to know that you've helped produce a quality air traffic controller that you can work next to and trust.